morning guys welcome to what i eat in a day travel edition i just found a parking spot at the airport Probably a little bit challenging i don't know where everybody in tucson's going but the airport parking garage is full so i wanted to make sure that i got here a little bit early it always stresses me out not being able to find a parking spot and then just getting through security getting my bags checked getting everything ready i always feel better if i allow myself just a little bit more time so if you didn't know if you if you missed a few of my videos, I am currently traveling to upstate New York, Rochester, New York, to be exact. I'm actually going on a little girl's trip. I am meeting some of my girlfriends, three of them in Rochester. I spend about four days with them. We're doing some Christmas related things. We're doing a lot of really good stuff. So you saw pictures and updates and things. If you follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, I decided not to vlog my trip, but I wanted to vlog what I eat in a day and kind of show you how I navigate traveling, when I have no control over food other than the snacks that I can bring with me, how I get in my water, how I get in my protein, and just how I navigate traveling in general while staying on track. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Again, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on. I upload five videos per week. Down in the description box, I'll link nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories, one-on-one -on -one coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. If you're not part of my group, come follow me there. That's kind of how you can keep up with me a little bit more a day to day. So before I go into the airport, I want to show you guys what snacks I packed and how I make sure that I plan ahead a little bit and bring healthy options. So I packed my shaker bottle because I have a new protein powder that I have really been loving. I haven't even shared it with you guys and it is so amazing for travel, so amazing for on the go. And then you can see that I also have my water bottle. And I do have a little bit of a hack that I do as far as filling up my water bottle while traveling. So first of all, those are the two things plus my vitamins that I've packed. And then snacks. So first are those protein packs that I was telling you about. This is from the brand Vade Nutrition. I have the chocolate milkshake. I have tried the cappuccino. It's amazing. The vanilla is amazing. What's really cool about these is the protein powder is in this food grade wrapping kind of like what's on a vitamin so all you have to do is throw the actual protein pack in a shaker bottle and shake it up with water milk it dissolves and you drink it so there's no waste you don't have to worry about packing a big tub of protein powder or pat or bagging up individual servings you literally just throw this whole little pack in your water bottle and you get in 20 grams of protein and only 90 calories no lactose no sugar and let me tell you how amazing it tastes i mean better than i thought that it would taste so when i have this today i'll show you guys how i how i shake it up and take it and how i drink it but i'll link vade in the description box for you with a discount code i also brought these little snack packs these i bought at sam's club i showed you guys these in a grocery haul a couple weeks ago these are great because they're crunchy snacks so i get the whole chip crunchy vibe but there's healthy fat and protein in here because there's nuts and some dried fruit i also packed some beef jerky this is something i always Always take this in a meat stick with me and here's the meat stick I brought from Nick sticks you guys know these are my favorite I buy these off of Amazon I'll link them down below for you as well I also brought a healthy eating all the time and go bar because this is going to be my breakfast this morning I try not to buy a lot of food at the airport because generally it's really high in calories and you don't get a lot for your money. And this is just a great way for me to have a portable breakfast that I can eat on the plane. I'll link these down below for you too with 10% off. I also brought a little packet of my American Dream Nut Butter. I always bring these too because worst case scenario, I can eat this right out of the packet. Or I might be able to buy a piece of toast at a restaurant at the airport and make a peanut butter toast. And again, American Dream Nut Butter my favorite. This is another product I'll link for you with a 10% discount. I also brought a built Bar. I always bring a built Bar because if I want something sweet while I'm traveling, this is a much better option than grabbing some candy or something at the airport and I'm getting in some protein. This is another product that I have a discount for. So all these products that are my go-tos, I'll put all the discount information in the description box. I also brought my Motivate Burn. Now I shared Motivate with you guys in my What I Eat in a Day this last week. I'll link that video if you missed it, but these are are really, really great for extra fat burning, energy, mood. They're just a great thing to have. These are to-go packs that I can just throw in my water. And then lastly, I threw some sweet treats in from Chalk Zero. These are the little white chocolate and mint dip dipped almonds. And then the Chalk Zero Not a Sugar Cookie Bar. I still like to have sweet options and healthy sweet options, things that are within my points, within my calories. So those are my snacks that I brought. I just keep them all here in my backpack. And this is a really easy way for me to stay on track. Let's grab my suitcase. Let's go get checked in for my flight. And then I'll show you my little hack for getting in my water while I'm traveling. Christmas trees. 
I just want to point out that it's cold. <laughs> it's cold as I'm heading out of Arizona, which I guess is gearing me up for how cold I'm sure it's going to be in New York. The airport is pretty quiet, so that makes me happy. Also, the Tucson airport is in the biggest airport, so it's generally a little bit more on the quiet side. Well, I stopped at one of the little restaurants, not the stores or the fast food places, but one of the sit down bar restaurants. And I just asked them to fill my bottle with ice and water. He did it, so I am set to go for my water. So just a little pro tip for you, bring your water bottle empty and just stop somewhere and have them fill it up for you. I'm going to put my Motivate Burn, which is the Fat Burner Energy Mood Enhancer. This is in the shade in Orange Burst. So good, I'm just going to throw this into my water bottle so it'll help me get in my supplements and my water. Welcome to Chicago. I'm in the Chicago airport. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna grab something to eat. I have less than an hour before my next flight. Just passed a Sprinkles cupcake machine. Not today, not today. cheeseburger but I'm going to remove the bun from the cheeseburger so that I can enjoy a few of the fries. That's kind of one of my tips for traveling is make as many healthy swaps as you can. Three hours later. Exciting. I'm going to pick up my bags and then my friend Amy is picking me up. I'm gonna go check into the hotel and then I think we're all gonna to go to dinner tonight. I'm really glad I had that protein shake on the plane because I was hungry. And then my room, it is cold here. It is very cold and very windy here, but I just got settled in my room, hung up all my clothes. I'm gonna head down to the lobby. We're gonna to go to dinner. It's so exciting to see all my friends. It has been a long, long time. I know we're gonna make it an early night tonight just because we're all tired from traveling, but we definitely need to get some dinner. So before I head down, let me flip you around really quickly and show you my room. It's pretty basic. We're just staying at a Holiday Inn Express in Rochester, New York. It's actually, honestly, it's a really nice room. I have a really pretty view. You probably can't see anything now because it's starting to get dark out. But I have a view out there past the parking lot. I don't know if you can see, but it's a lake. I'm really excited to see what that looks like in the morning. But, but yeah, just a basic room. I'm all settled in and ready to head down for dinner. So side note, while I get in the elevator, I'm not sure where we're gonna go to dinner. I'll do my best to get some footage. I don't know if they'll wanna be on my video or not, but I'm gonna do my best to get some footage of dinner for you. I was gonna ask you, do you want cheese on your simple bacon? Yes. Oh, you guys are gonna be on my simple bacon. Say hi. I know, I don't know why I'm like, hey. 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 Oh. hey. Oh, shit. It just makes me laugh every time. They're so mean. I'm back from dinner. It is about 8 p.m. I just got back to my hotel room. We had such an amazing time. I showed you my dinner. That was what was left. I ate about, I don't know, almost an entire half of my 
sandwich. It was a turkey apple melt. It was really good. It had cheddar cheese on it. And then I had the potato salad. I ate a few bites of that. I wasn't super hungry when we went to dinner because I had that protein shake. So I brought the leftovers back to my room because I have a fridge and a microwave and I can just warm that up if I get hungry. And now I'm going to have some dessert. These are the little Maltese's, Maltesers. These are like Whoppers from Australia. My friend Michelle from Australia brought these for me. So I'm going to have those for dessert. I'm going to shower, go to bed. It's been a really, really long day, but I hope you enjoyed today's what I eat in a day while traveling. Kind of showed you how I navigate traveling, staying on track. I feel like I did really well today. I made good substitutions, good choices, having to eat on the road, got my protein in, which is amazing. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. Also, all the discount codes and links for the snacks that I packed on my trip will be down there. And come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Jingle bells ringing in my ear